Good evening and welcome. Um, this evening I'm going to attempt day one of December daily. Um, I've downloaded the um, the lovely freebies from uh, Tracy Fox and we're going to just roughly follow along with her video. Um, this was one of the pieces and I've backed it with some um, oh, paper, well, yeah, cardstock from a paper pad. I didn't have anything Christmassy. So that's my sort of feeble attempt at something green. <clears throat> and um, I followed the instructions. I've actually uh, printed out a couple of extra bits um, because I didn't have everything I needed uh, in my own stash. And uh, so I've printed out a couple of extras and I did actually use this in something else. So I was a bit naughty yesterday. Uh, I've, I've got these numbers, but I'm hopeless at cutting those out. So that's an absolute mess. So that's no good. Um, and then I found these other numbers, which I printed off from a calendar, fabric calendar, uh, advent calendar. So I'm going to use those. Um, now I put that on a piece, little piece of card, and then I, um, and then I use my hole punch to um, cut that out. So I think that looks a lot better than that other number one. So a little bit of ink on there. My ink is absolutely, my pad is absolutely disintegrating. So uh, there's little, oops. Little bits of it everywhere. Now, I don't know what's gone over the edge there. I'm sure it's going to be something vital, which I've just blown away. OK, so let's make a start. So on the front, we're going to have the Christmas tree. And I think that's what I've just blown over the edge, actually. I don't know. And what she suggested was to back these onto some decent um, cardstock. So I used... Um, a box this is some um dog dog biscuit box so i've used that and then i've uh, inked them round and i've glued them on together so i didn't want this to be a long video so i just thought i'll just uh, make a start so this is going on the front so um this is going to go here merry christmas there and then the christmas tree is going to go up there so let's let's um let's have a go and see what we can do. Um I'm not sure that I'll be able to do every single day of this December daily. Um and to be honest, I thought it was a bit foolish me starting it because I've still got other things that are sort of half done, you know? And um I thought it's not very sensible to start a project which involves doing something every single day um, when well, I've got loads of other things that need finishing. So, uh, yeah, so I might just dip in and dip out and, um, you know, just do just do a few of them, really. And at the end of the day, I don't know what, what, what I'm going to do with them. Um, yeah, I mean, Tracy's made a beautiful box to put hers in. And I've um, I've found a, a box that had mushrooms in it, so I'm going to use that. <laughs> so mine's a bit, you know, a bit sad, really, but there we are. Anyway, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Just uh, just have a go. I encourage you to, to uh, join in. And... Um, yeah, so uh, if you go on a Facebook group, ask to join. And um, yeah, she suggested not to get these sort of, you know, have, have them a bit, don't make them just exactly perfect. Have them a bit going uh, here, there and everywhere. So yeah, if you go on a Facebook, Facebook group and ask to join, um, you'll find everything you need to know on there. And then... You know everything all our little youtube videos you can oh, this is a bit wibbly wobbly isn't it this christmas tree 
but I don't think that's a problem. I think that's, you know, I think that's fine. Um, so don't go too mad with the glue. That's not a good idea, is it? So pop that on the top. And there we are. Now then, I've got a little got my cloth here. There we are. I think that's all right. So maybe I've gone too wibbly wobbly. Oops. Jess is having a little bark. Um, I think she's probably going to be she's probably going to be doing a bit of barking because um, my neighbour. Now I'm just wondering whether I want to put a bit of. Uh, lace or anything under here yeah my neighbor has decorated her house with um um oh my word it's a winter wonderland it's absolutely amazing you you honestly wouldn't believe it without seeing it um yeah it's wonderful so um she could be barking at that actually she very well could be um a little bit of lace maybe right i'll just put a bit on just put that under there put that on there how's that is that okay yeah it just gives it a bit of interest doesn't it Right, so we'll swap to Fabri-Tac. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put that number because, um, yeah, Tracy had a star and put hers at the top of the tree. Now, I have got some wooden buttons. Um, and I think there are some stars in there, but I've already cut that number out now. Yeah, I've got these. And there are stars in here, which could go at the top of the tree. But now I've cut this out. It's no good, is it, really? So I think we'll pass on those. Okay. Right, let's do this. And I don't know where I'm going to put the number now, so I have to think about that. So it's really sweetie. Now I do have some Christmas um some Christmas beads, but oh do you know what? I've not been able to find them. So I think later on tonight I might just go on a mission and see if I can find them. And uh and then I'll be able to do the dangly the dangly off off the end of here. And um, yeah, that'll be good. So I'm just going to press this down now. There we are. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? I do like that. Now, number one could go there, couldn't it? And before we start sort of stressing about it, let's just do it. So let's, oops, I've gone a bit mad there. Let's just put a small, a small amount of um, lace under there. There we are. That's it. And then make sure we're getting this the right way up. And I have inked everything because this is only just a little short video. Just really to say, you know, I'm joining in. And thanks very much to um, Tracy Fox for um, for the downloads, really. So there's a bit of 3D effect going on there, isn't there? Because that's lifted off there. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's... 
that's a little bit of a bit of lace and then this is my um very sad green inside which you know it's not very good is it really but there we are it'll be all right so we'll put those on uh, i've got to put the lid on the fabric tack before that dries up we have more more fabric tack issues i'm gonna have problems with this now sorry about that i mean it's virtually virtually empty and um, to be honest, I'll be glad and then I can decant what's left of my fabric tack from the broken bottle. And uh, but I'm not sure how well the fabric tack will mix with what's left of this um, tacky glue. And maybe I ought to wash it out with warm water really before I do anything else. So that's going there. Just plonk that in the middle and get my cloth and then I think that might be a bit crooked actually oops better do it on the right side and then we'll do this one and of course you've got some writing space on these haven't you um so you can do a bit of journaling if you want to. There we are. I'll try and get them sort of matching a little bit if we can. Yeah, so I printed off an extra because of this awful green paper that I've used. I wish I'd not used it now. I wish I'd just found some you know a digi that i could have used right so um a little pocket i've just made a little pocket with that um tracy made hers from she had some extra she'd printed off some extra an extra little bit of digi paper and used that or it might have been a little bit of tim holtz that she said she had left and used that to make a rough pocket and she also did stitching, which I'm not doing stitching because, you know, it's a pain in the neck getting the sewing machine out because I've not got it set up. I mean, it's right in front of me, but I have to move everything. I have to bring it forward and um, I'm going to put that little little birdie in there, little tag. Um, I'm going to put that on there like that. Let's put it there at the bottom, put it at the bottom. And um, yeah, we had finished. So what I'd really like to have done is to have had a little dingly dangly off there. But um, as I say, I can't find my Christmas beads. And you know what? I've had them for years and they've been... Sorry about this, um, this glue. Yeah, I've had them for years and they've been knocking about here, you know, or keep finding them and then... Um, as soon as I decide I want them, I can't find them. So that's just the way of it, isn't it? It's just the way of life. There we are. That looks nice on there. And then I think she put this up here. So we'll do that. And then I've got to think of a, of a closure. What am I going to use as a closure? Oh, there. Uh, to think of that so that's going on there like that and this is really sweet isn't it and then this Christmas tree one and there's that one that's going on there like that and there we are And that little, those two little Christmas trees, I don't know, I don't really want to, I don't really want to put them on there, because I like that mistletoe. There we are. So, um, I could put them on here, just so they're hanging out of there, or I could just put one on there, but I don't know. 
anyway there it is day one um it's not finished it needs something i've got um yeah i had a had a bit of a stash um came today and i've got this which uh would be nice wouldn't it and that's like a cord which would be lovely to go around there how nice is that that's lovely so yeah there we are day one i'll get something to put dangly dangling from there uh day one of uh, december daily thank you very much tracy fox